In this video, I'm going to talk about how you should trade the inversion for LGAP. But before we get into the video, if you'd like to engage with other traders, you can join my, join my Discord. Link in the description is totally free. And also, I got most of my information about inversion for LGAPs from Dodgy's DD, so I definitely recommend checking out his channel. So now let's get into the video. So I would definitely recommend watching the video I made about inversion value gaps, as I'm not going to explain what a inversion value gap is. I'm just going to explain how you should trade it. So I definitely re recommend watching that video. So now let's go over the criteria I want to look for when looking for a inversion value gap entry. So the first one, we want to deliver from any form of PDRA, or we want to see price taken out any form of liquidity. So first of all, let's see. Let's say we have this Fibonacci gap right here. Then we want to see price delivering from this Fibonacci gap, and then we want to look for any form of inversion Fibonacci gap. And a liquidity example is: let's say we have buy sell liquidity up here. Then we want to see price take out buy sell liquidity before we look for any form of inversion Fibonacci gap. So next, we only want to see one inversion Fibonacci gap. So what I mean by that is. Let's say up here, we see we have a single singular inversion value gaps. There's only one inversion value gap, and you, as you see, there's no inversion value gap within here or anything like that. But as you see right here, there's two value gaps beside each other, and we only want to look for one to be inversed. So in that case, this wouldn't work. Okay, third. We want to target internal range liquidity or external range liquidity. So in that case, let's say we took out sell side liquidity down here. Took out the sell side liquidity, and then we have internal range liquidity up here. So then let's say we have make an inversion value gap within here. We want to see price make a retracement down to that inversion value gap without taking out this internal range liquidity, and then after that we can we could target the internal range liquidity. So basically. We see price taking out so liquidity or touching any form of higher time frame PDRA. And then we want to look for a singular inversion value gap or a value gap that could be inversed and not multiple. And then after that, we don't want to see the intern raised liquidity already, already being ran when we make the retracement down into the inversion value gap. And don't worry, I'm going to show some examples of all what I've explained right here. So the fourth one. Is internal range liquidity already been taken out? So as I said before, when we make, we'll take out the uh, sell side liquidity and we'll make the inversion further gap. We don't want to see this internal range liquidity high or external range liquidity, of course, depending on what the trade entry looks like. So we don't want to see this high up here being taken out before we make the retracement down into the inversion further gap. So let's say, if price were to take this internal range liquidity out and then make the retracement down, we could also just anticipate a reversal as if the bias is wrong and price is going to reverse after this, then we don't know if this inversion value gap is going to work. So number five has the candle candle has to close. So basically, what I mean by that is, let's say up here, we have this value gap right here, and then we want to see this candle close below the inversion value gap. We don't want to be anticipating or taking a trade entry before we create the inversion value gap. But of course, if there's like five or ten seconds to till the candle close and the candle is maybe all the way down here or something like that then of course we could maybe take the entry but personally i want to see the candle close and something extra is balanced price range so basically a balanced price range is when you have a inversion value gap and a value gap right beside each other so maybe something like this for example it's, this is not the best example but yeah something like this when we have a inversion value gap and a value gap. So now we can go into the charts and find some examples of this. So as we see, price came down into this four hour value gap, which is a higher time frame PD array. So now we have the first, first one checked. 
as this is where we want to see price deliver from this PDRA. So now we can go into lower time frame, let's just say the 15 minute. Look for a inversion value gap as we anticipate price delivering from this four hour value gap. So as we see here, already we have created a inversion value gap. And as we see, this is a singular inversion value gap as there is no value gap within here. And an example of multiple inversion value gaps is, for example, right here, we have this value gap and also this small value gap within here. So yeah, we see we have the singular value gap, or sorry, inverse the value gap. And example of over here, see we also had a inversion value gap, but that got invalidated as we weren't in the AM session. So now we got the inversion value gap, and we see the price has not taken out internal range liquidity yet, and that is what we wanted to see. So now. This is a, in my opinion, this is a large inversion value gap. So we can go into lower time frame and find a entry based on the confirmation of this inversion value gap as it confirms that price is willing to move higher from this four hour value gap. So now what do we see here? We see that price could potentially make a change in state of delivery. Um, Actually, I will, I will actually take this entry on the 15 minute. So now let's say where to enter right here. Put our stop loss at a place where we think the inversion value gap would get invalidated, which would be this low, and then target internal risk liquidity. But we'll see that makes a terrible risk reward ratio. So in that case, I wouldn't take this train entry. But let's just see if this if it works out. And we see. This trade entry worked out perfectly if you were to take it, of course. So, price made a retracement into the singular inversion value gap and then took out internal range liquidity, which we didn't take out before we touched the inversion value gap. So, now let's look up if any of these criteria were used. So, first of all, are we delivering from any form of PDRA? Yes, this four hour. And second, only one inversion value gap. Yes, it was only one inversion value gap. And third, target internal range liquidity slash internal external range liquidity, which we did. Internal range liquidity already been taken out. No, it has had not been taken out. And did we see a candle close? Yes. Was there any form of balance price range? No. As you see, we didn't have any form of value gap within or close to this inversion value gap. And also, something I have to mention is when we see price has multiple inversion value gaps on the lower time frame, as you see, we have three value gaps right here. We can go up to the higher time frame, and this example, or in this case, it would be the 15 minute, and then look for a inversion value gap. And as you see, right here, we had a singular, and on the five minute, we had multiple. So that's what we would do when we have multiple inversion value gaps on the lower time frame. So for next example, we see price has taken out so side liquidity and has also touched this order block right here. So in that case, we want to look for a singular for value gap or yeah, a singular for value gap. And that we have right here and that gets inversed. And as you see, there are no other for value gap up here or anything like that. So we see or well, well, we have two criteria, price takes out sell side liquidity, and we made the singular inversion for early gap. So now we want to look for the internal range liquidity, which is up here, of oh, this high. And we want to see price not taking out the internal range liquidity before making the retracement. So now let's look for that. And we see right here, price makes the retracement and does not take out the internal range liquidity already. So in that case, we have three criteria. First of all, since so liquidity ran, inversion, singular inversion value gap, and internal range liquidity has not been taken out. So now we want to target the internal range liquidity. If we were, of course, to take a trade entry, then we could enter right there and put our stop loss, just say at the bottom of here and target this high up here, or just this high. 
let's take out this high, and it would make a 1.9 risk reward ratio. Um, so of course that isn't good enough. So in that case, I would just target two. But of course that isn't the ideal favor. So in that case, we just target this and go with the 1.5 risk reward ratio. So we also have a extra criteria, which is the fair value gap. So we created a balanced price range. As we see, we have the inversion of value gap right here, and then we have a value gap. So now let's see if price could take out the intern range liquidity. And right here, we see price takes out the intern range liquidity and makes a close above, and it also takes out the two risk reward ratio. So that was it for this video about the inversion model or how you should trade inversion value gaps. So I hope you liked it, this video, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any questions or if there's any SCT concept that you want to learn more about, please comment down below. And as I said in the start of the video, if you'd like to engage with other traders, you can join my Discord, link in the description, it's totally free.